In this video we'll show you the difference between three methods of registration at the karting track. On the left we've got registration via our fast kiosk with the Facebook option enabled. In the middle we've got registration via our fast kiosk without Facebook. And on the right there's registration with pen and paper requiring an employee to type everything into an Excel worksheet later. We're gonna be timing how long it takes for every method to reach completion. Alright, let's get this thing started. Three. Two, one, go. On the left you can see the user selecting the Facebook option to register. Here he has to fill out his email and password to log in. In the middle our user is filling out his name, birthday and gender. This will all be automatically filled in on the Facebook kiosk on the left. The user on the left already allowed the Facebook application. The user in the middle will simply have to click a link in the welcome email or the race result email. Note that these two users are aware of all the advantages of a race license. You can see the Facebook user on the left just has to fill out his nickname and that's it. We advise you to make the postal code compulsory for marketing purposes. The Facebook user has his profile picture automatically imported into the kiosk. Now he just has to fill out his phone number. His email address is taken from Facebook and therefore correct and verified. Stop the clock. 1 minute 25, the Facebook user is done with registering. Now he's imported completely into our system with the correct name, age and email address. All imported from his Facebook profile. The old school user is done. Now the employee has to spend time typing all the details into the computer. This is usually done at the end of the day or of the week. But with let's say 250 new contact details to enter, do you really do it? If needed, you can take a new picture of the user at the point of sale in case the one imported from Facebook or taken by the user does not match your requirements. It's done in two clicks. This is very handy if the user isn't recognizable. Alright, now also the normal kiosk has reached completion. 2 minutes 7 seconds. Because our kiosk checks the structure of an email address automatically, a lot of errors are already filtered out. Meanwhile, the cashier has a hard time reading some of the stuff the customer wrote down. We're gonna fast forward this a bit because it's getting a bit boring. Damn, this is really slow. And here she commits a fatal error. She mistakes an O for an A and this email address will now never be valid. And finally at 3 minutes 24 the data is entered into a computer. You can see that this is almost 2 minutes slower than the kiosk with the Facebook option. Building a database is essential but you have to do it right. Cost efficient for you and pleasant for your customers.